Hi there everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game from the chess history. In this chess game we have James Mason with the white pieces and his opponent is an unknown chess player. So this chess game was played in London, England in the year of 1900. So you probably know James Mason but let me introduce this amazing chess player. So he was one of the best chess players in the late uh, 19th century, especially in the years of 1870s and in 1880s, he is considered as one of the leading chess players in the world. So he was British American and unfortunately he died at the young age of 55 in the year of 1905. So this chess game was played in 1900, uh, as I said, and this is one of the last recorded chess games of James Mason. And it was an absolutely amazing, a very entertaining chess game to watch. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Uh, James Mason, who has the white pieces, starts the game with e4. We have e5 and the king's gambit. The king's gambit declined. Bishop to c5, knight to f3, d6, and then c3. So planning to play d4. Bishop to g4, pinning the knight, and then bishop to c4, developing knight to c6 and then finally d4 which is not that logical but in this position mason wants to castle so e takes on d4 which is the best move and mason castled and then black captured the pawn with check so king to h1 and then knight to d4 actually so far black is doing okay and black uh, has a reasonable position and in this position black could even be greedy and capture one more pawn and then bishop takes on b2 and developing both of the bishops aggressively but, but uh, with accurate defense black is going to survive this and even win the chess game so this is a little bit too aggressive against uh, accurate defenders or against chess computers of course but against an amateur of course it is going to give white important attacking chances so we have knight to d4 and simply capturing on c3 and you can see that c takes on b2 would be better. So white has actually pretty good, pretty decent development. So bishop takes on f3, g takes on f3, and then knight to e7, developing the knight and black wants to castle. But a very natural move, developing the bishop and attacking the knight. So we have knight to e6. But mason played the best move in this position. So white has pretty good development. But the king side is wrecked. Uh, the pawn structure in the king side has been damaged. Uh, pluses and minuses. Mason played f5, the best move in this position. So it is getting complicated. So what else? Bishop takes on e3 and then capturing the knight. And black castled. Well, black didn't want to capture the pawn because if capturing the pawn, then bishop takes on e6 and how to castle. So castling and mason played e takes on f7 so this is the downside of castling so if capturing the pawn losing the exchange so moving the king and then f4 the best move so this also opens uh, the queen so knight to g6 and mason played another best move knight to d5 both defending the f pawn and also attacking the bishop so defending and then b4 the best move according to the computer chess engine so bishop to b6 and then f5 knight to e5 attacking the bishop defending the bishop is better here but mason was wearing his attacking hat on he played queen to h5 sacrificing the bishop and this was not a logical move we have queen to d7 maybe black was afraid i mean capturing the bishop is the best move and then lifting the rook up is also possible and then swinging the rook over to h3 and how to defend the checkmate threat. It is going to be tricky but there is some accurate defenses for black. But black didn't behave uh, bravely. He decided to get rid of this pawn so that his king can escape. Uh, in this position mason played rook to f4 and leaving the pawn. Uh, leaving the bishop we have queen takes on f7 but in this position capturing the bishop is not possible because if knight takes on c4 can you see what happens it is white to move and win 
okay, sacrificing to queen, king takes queen is the only move, and then rook to h4, and black is getting checkmated, there is no defense. So queen to d7, and lifting to rook up, so this time capturing the bishop is out of questions because of the queen sacrifice, and black is getting checkmated, and black played the worst move possible <laughs> in this position, black played queen takes on f7, and this was an epic blunder. A rook takes or knight takes should have been considered, but if rook takes on f7, then rook to h4, and after h6, f6, uh, it looks tricky for black, but still, uh, this would be a better try. But after rook to f4, queen takes on f7, and this move has a downside. Can you see the downside? Okay, so Mason sacrificed his queen. This time, the queen sacrifice is working. So, getting rid of the pawn, so hoping to escape, but black didn't see the queen sacrifice. King takes on h7, rook to h4, one of the only moves, blocking with the queen doesn't work, and then there is checkmate in one move. Mason played knight to e7, check, <laughs> mate, the queen is pinned. Black should have captured the bishop when he had the chance, but now it is too late. Checkmating the king at move 23. Checkmate. What a game and what a beautiful final combination. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.